Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know if anybody from Carol Wisconsin is here, they might not want to raise their hand. <laughs> but we actually we had we had a, 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 in Pewaukee we had a, a care manager from Carol Wisconsin. Uh, we had um, in Pewaukee we had one of the contract managers from Community Care Inc. Uh, so we have had uh, MCOs come to these things, and we've had discussions with them, and they say, they say, well, now you're saying this is happening with all the MCOs, if only some of the MCOs, we say, okay, well, well, we'll take a look at our language. But really, the problem isn't just at the MCO level. I think everything that we're seeing says that there are problems one level up from that. At the state level, with how the MCOs are getting paid, with some of the regulations and contract requirements that the MCOs have, and all those things, you know, are, are needing to be fixed. And certainly, you know, some of the processes that I talked about earlier, you know, assessments, rates, all those things can be done better. And we just need to keep the pressure on to make sure that they do it better. Is there any checks and balances in place for the MCOs right now? Or is there doing things? I mean, who is the watchdog to, to oversee that yeah, that's a good question. Right. Who's the watchdog over the MCOs? It is the Department of Health Services. The, the Department of Health Services has the oversight responsibility. So that would be, uh, it's the Division of Long-Term Care in the Department of Health Services. They're responsible for everything that happens with the MCOs. They have contracts with the MCOs. They have monitoring that goes on with the MCOs. And, you know, ultimately, you said take a step back from, from that, and it's a statute that was set up originally by the legislature. So, you know, if, if your feeling is that they're not being active enough, then you always can talk to your state legislator about it as well. Um, you know, I think, I think that it's important to know that the Department of Health Services actually took pretty strong action with one of the NCOs that was failing, and, and it actually rocked got his start two years ago in, in dealing with some of the problems that were being caused. Uh, up in the Eau Claire area, the Community Health Partnership Organization is really being forced out of business by the Department of Health Services for not doing what they should be doing. Now, are they totally to blame for their situation? Probably not. When you look at some of the you know, people who came out of Northern Wisconsin Center who settled up there with very high costs. And the number of people with developmental disabilities in that area to begin with is higher than others. So, I mean, there's some things that need to be adjusted on the state end as well. But they did hold that organization accountable, and they're actually seeking a new uh, operator of the managed care organization out there. Um, what we've heard from some people who've heard from some people at DHS is uh, DHS claims that they don't know about a lot of the problems that we're talking about because the source of their data is grievances and appeals. And anybody in this room been a grievance or an appeal about any of the things that we've talked about? Okay? So, like I said, you got to find out if, are things being cut or are there more services that you want? And if you don't, if you aren't satisfied with the answer, you can do a grievance or an appeal. The other thing is that they do this quality assurance thing where there's surveys and scale of one to five, are you more or less satisfied? And I don't know who's filling those out because the family care gets great survey results all the time. Um, and so, if you're one of the people they ask about that, answer them honestly. I, I think something that is just historical of people with disabilities and their families is you don't want to make waves. And now's the time to make waves. So I'm, I'm worried that people say, well, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, so I'll give them a five. Well, don't do that anymore. Yeah, that's, that's very important. The state does have some survey uh, processes. Um, some of them are very, very time consuming, which means they can't do a lot of them. That's why I advocate for something that's going to be open to more people to participate in so that as many people as possible can be providing their input instead of just a few sampled individuals. I just think it would be better all the way around. 